This one just arrived. It's the uh, Revo P3 from RC Factory. Okay, this is my largest uh, bike so far, the Revo P3, and I just completed a build video on this. I built five other bikes here in the recent past, over the last two years. And uh, this will be the largest, the Revo P3. And we'll see how it flies compared to these other ones. And here's the electronics I'll be using for the P3. 1250 kVT motor, 25 amp ESC Lemon RX7 receiver, Corona digital servos, and a uh, Zippy LiPo. Step one is to put the uh, 1.5 millimeter rods, these two right here, in the uh, fuselage along the side, full length. Just push that down into the groove, full length on both sides. And I'll let the first side soak in a little bit before I flip it over and do the uh, opposite side. Next we take the 3 by 5 by 100 millimeter carbon fiber flat stock and that happens to be in the bag here. Here and here and push them down in there and apply CA. Next we take the 3 by 5 by 250 millimeter, push it down into the elevator and we add a little bit of CA. Next we take both wings and we fold the ailerons back as well as the uh, tail assembly and fold the elevator back. Put some weights on there, let them set overnight, and that'll loosen up the hinges. Next we take the vertical component of the fuselage and we cut it here, 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 and here. Split it in half. And it's cut in half now. We take the lower part of the fuselage and we cut it along in here and in here. Like that. Now we take these two wooden T's and we glue them to either side of this centerpiece here and I'm going to use goop for that. I prefer it to CA. Like this. Then we'll add glue here and here and push it all together making sure this is a nice straight line. Like this and make sure this upper edge right here is nice and straight. Then we take the uh, horizontal stabilizer elevator assembly and we push it right onto the horizontal component of the fuselage and we'll glue it with goop right in there. Next we cut these two side braces here and here. Then glue it on using goop. Then glue on the uh, plastic piece. Next we install the servo right there. And we cut a little slot here and here for these little wings on the servo to fit into. And it's secured with goop which works a lot better than CA because if you ever need to replace the servo it's a whole lot easier to get it out. Then we put the uh, fuselage pieces together like this. Then we glue it. I'm going to use goop on the uh, flat areas. CA on these uh, tabs where they poke through. Next is the uh, side brace pieces on either side. This one will glue on. So the side pieces are uh, pinned in on either side and we're going to glue it with CA except for about 150 millimeters on the left side. And on the right side we'll go ahead and uh, glue it full length. We install the uh, second servo here and we fish the wire underneath this piece and pull it through. And we push it all the way down in and I'm going to secure it with goop here and here just a small amount so it's easy to remove in the future. Also I plugged the wire into another plane that I had uh, where the servo was centered just to uh, go ahead and center that arm. Next is the motor mount. Before I put it in the fuselage, I'm going to strengthen it with a little bit of uh, fiberglass and epoxy on both sides. I've had a lot of trouble on other planes with the, uh, the firewall or the motor mount, whatever you want to call it, breaking uh, on impact. Just need to trim it. After trimming, we'll go ahead and install the uh, motor mount. The motor mount is secured with goop. And just checking the uh, thrust angle there to make sure it's perfectly perpendicular. There's no up or down thrust. And it looks like there's a little bit of right thrust which is uh, built into it by design to counteract the thrust of the motor. Then we cut the upper fuselage half here and here. Then the canopy is put on with goop. And finally we attach the upper fuselage halves to the entire fuselage. Front half is pinned and drying. Next we take the uh, two wing halves, the upper and lower, put them together and glue them with goop. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the uh, slots for the carbon fiber wing spars. There's four of them. So we need uh, two in each wing, upper and lower. And it's just a matter of measuring out uh, 15 and 3 quarter inches from the center. 
to one end and 15 and 3 quarter inches from the center on the other end and 25 millimeters down. Then we'll go ahead and cut a slot with a razor knife and install the spar. Slot is cut, just pushing it down into the wing, full length. Carbon fiber rod is installed and now we can go ahead and uh, add some CA. Now we'll mount the elevator guides E1 to E5 into the fuselage. Now we'll go ahead and build our push rods. These are one by 500 millimeter carbon fiber rods. We'll go ahead and CA the uh, ends to the uh, rods. Push rod is installed through the guides. We'll mount the elevator horn to the elevator. Mount it with goop. Then we push a sleeve into one of the clips. Make sure the elevator is level with the uh, horizontal stabilizer. And the clip is mounted. You just need to cut the uh, push rod. So I'll cut it right about there. The elevator push rod is secured with CA. We're going to go ahead and mount the uh, aileron servos next. We have to make a little cutout on each servo uh, cutout here for these little wings on here. Aileron servos are mounted. Now we need to cut a little groove for the wires and embed the wires down into the foam. Right along in here to the center from either side. And we just push the wire down into the uh, slot like that. The servos are installed, the wires are embedded, and I went ahead and bound the receiver just so I could center the arms on the aileron servos here. And I'll probably wait uh, until later before I actually put a little goop in there to secure them. Next we need to install the aileron horn and we just put a straight edge from the uh, arm on the servo to this little notch right over here. And I just drew a little line there. That's where this is going to go. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut that slot for the uh, aileron horn. And I'll do the same on the other one. Okay, both horns are in and I'll glue them later. Most important thing is that the hole right there in the horn is directly over the hinge line. That's very critical. Otherwise you're going to get uneven movement up and down. So we'll go ahead and add our slave horns. I just need to cut a notch right here, 22 millimeters in and in line with the aileron horn. Slave horns are installed. I'll glue them later. We're going to make our aileron push rods using these two bolts. We need to cut the head off of these two bolts first. I'm going to go ahead and cut this. I'll put a little nut on there just so that I can uh, screw that off the end to make sure that it doesn't damage the threads. There's our first one. And there it is. We'll go ahead and do the same with the other bolt. And the aileron push rods are installed. Now we can install the fuselage onto the lower wing. Okay, the wing is on, it's secured with goop, and I've got it pinned until the goop sets up. It's important to make sure that the wing is perfectly parallel with the uh, horizontal stabilizer. Now we'll do the wing struts. We use uh, 200 millimeter flat stock carbon fiber, and we need to just cut the ends off of each of these so that they fit in these little grooves right here. And we'll glue the carbon fiber in with CA. Now we'll go ahead and install the slave horns for the upper wing. Make a little cut on either side like we did with the lower wing. And we'll glue these in later. This is a test fit of the upper wing and the struts and everything seems to be in alignment so I'm going to go ahead and glue it using goop. And there's a nice goop bond there. You can see how well that works. Much better than CA. And the upper wing is glued on. I've got a uh, bunch of pins in here holding it in place until it all cures up. This is the most critical part of one of these things is to make sure you get the upper and lower wings in perfect alignment. Looks really good. I'm happy the way it came out. Next we'll go ahead and build the slave rods. Just need to uh, glue these threaded pieces here on with CA. These ends are glued on and threaded to the clips. It's very important that the uh, slave rods be 195 millimeters from the center hole here to the center hole over here. So I just put a pin in there to accurately locate that hole and over here get my 195 millimeters and that's adjusted by threading this in or out until you get the, uh, the length exactly correct. Then we'll do the same with this one here and uh, I glue these pieces on at that time and should be good to go. Next we'll go ahead and install the push rod guides for the rudder. We'll just glue them into these holes right here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to use goop. They're all glued in and you want to kind of look down the barrel so to speak to make sure they're in perfect alignment. Next we'll install the rudder, so we have to put the hinges in. So we make a little cut on the vertical stabilizer here and another one down here to insert those hinges. Then I place the rudder on there just to see where to mark it. And here's where the hinges are. I went ahead and put a little pen marks on there. I'm going to go ahead and make my uh, slices in there for the uh, hinges. 
And I've just test fitted the hinges to make sure everything's good before we actually glue the hinges in.